Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the HTC U11 Now shout out to everybody who watched my videos, you know my motto, you're only as good as your last phone But this is one time I can't even show you the last phone that I had from HTC because I put that phone back in the box and returned it now don't get me wrong, the HTC Ultra, that was a cool phone, but paying 850 bucks for a phone with the same exact specs as the HTC 10, that's a no. So now we got the HTC U11, and this looks like an official HTC heavy hitter. Now y'all know I hate talking about specs, but since this is an unboxing video, let's go over the main specs that you need to know, starting with the most important spec, the price. Now, if you buy this from HTC.com, you're looking at $650 bucks plus tax, shipping and handling, so altogether $740. Bucks. So that's official flagship pricing. Now, this phone is GSM and CDMA, so that means it's going to work on AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. Now, on a side note, this is the Sprint version. Shout out to HTC for trolling. Of course, they come out with the red version after I already get mine's in the mail. Now let's talk about the build. This is a unibody design, so that means a non-removable battery, but one of the major selling points on this is the back panel. Now the back panel is made out of liquid glass coated with OSHD. Now that's optical spectrum hybrid deposition. Now what does that mean in English? Who knows, but the point is, it's beautiful. Now this phone is IP67 dust and water resistant, so that means you could submerge it in water three feet deep up to 30 minutes. Now the phone does feature dual SIM slots or you can have expandable memory that means you can drop a micro SD card in here up to 256 gigs. Now for the display, they got a 5.5 inch Super LCD 5 that's Quad HD with a resolution of 1440 by 2560. Now that's 534 for the PPI Patrol. Now you also get Corn and Gorilla Glass 5 for scratch protection and the phone is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 with the Adreno 540 GPU. In other words, the latest and greatest. Now the phone is running Android 7.1 Nugget, fresh out of the box with HTC Sense UI. Now on a side note, if you wanna, if you wanna learn how to get Nugget on your phone instead of Nougat, hit me up in the comments. Now the phone has 64 gigs of storage with four gigs of RAM. Now for the camera on the rear, you got a 12 megapixel camera, that's f1.7. You get optical image stabilization and you can shoot video uh, up to 4K, 30 frames per second. Now in the front, you got a 16 megapixel camera, that's f2.0 with one downside. They removed the optical image stabilization. Now on your HTC 10, you had that on the front, it's gone on the HTC U11 but you can shoot video up to 1080p. Now for the battery, you got a non-removable 3000 milliamp battery that features quick charge 3.0. Now you also get a fingerprint sensor. You got HCC boom sound speakers, which they claim are louder than the HCC 10. So we're gonna put that to the test. You get HCC edge sense, which means you can squeeze the phone and get some functionality. Sounds kind of gimmicky, but we'll see. You got your HCC companion, similar to Bixby, some more uh, useless shit. You get your noise canceling headphones and you got high res audio. So hi-fi deck back in the building. One thing missing, wireless charge. All right, so put that on your list of things that we don't like. All right, so here we go. No more specs. As far as presentation, typical HTC, you got your white box. Who doesn't like a nice white box? <laughs> got the little unboxing knife on deck, let's get busy. Rah. Shout out to the Huntsman. Also on the side note, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off again. I think White Shoes is mad at me because I switched up her cat food. My supermarket doesn't sell uh, the one she likes, so I think she got a little attitude, but it is what it is. Let's see how do we open this up. All right, we're gonna have to get some more action. Here we go. Rah. Oh, big piece of tape right here, okay. Rah. Here we go. Come on, HTC. They make they uh, more more tape. All right, they want they want to see the knife today, so why not? Rah. Okay. 
let me calm down because my frustration level was was increasing just now here we go presentation we'll look at that in a second here's your phone here's your quick charging brick typical HTC fashion this looks like a nice thick USB cable all right, USB type C now here's your headphones now these aren't just regular free headphones they claim these have active noise cancellation we're gonna have to put these to the test they look nice though let's see no magnets on these little HTC branding looks like a nice quality now I forgot to mention no headphone jack so you're gonna have to plug these in using USB type C you also get some different size earbuds let's see what else okay now this is cool you get a little case a right, little hard shell case better than nothing because I was online looking not too many HTC cases out right now here's your sim ejection tool we're gonna save that okay shout out to HTC this is a nice presentation I'm feeling this microfiber cleaning cloth we'll save that and of course your usual books and shit pluck those follow them to the side and here's your USB type C to headphone jack adapter now do not lose this or you won't be able to use all your beats headphones and all your wired headphones all right so we we'll save that to the side too now for the coupe de gras <laughs> here's the phone let's get this plastic out of here oh, here we go all right you know now check this out what time is it it's 6 30 i'm making videos in the afternoon that's probably why i'm all over the place i usually get a little bit more focused in the night but yo, what am i doing <laughs> all right here we go Rah! all right oh my god let me grab a microfiber cleaning cloth real quick and shine this up so i can hit y'all with that maximum effect look at this matter of fact let me get this um stick off the back too that's hurting the eyes bang Woo! OSHD, Optical Spectrum Hybrid Deposition. So Google that if you want to know what that means, but basically it has something to do with the light refracting off the cylindrical shapes and color spectrums, all kind of technological fancy shit, but look at this. All right, if you ain't got time for all that technical shit, just look at this. This is beautiful. Now, I got to wipe this down one more time. Now, of course, it's going to be a fingerprint magnet. But this might be the best looking HTC phone that I've seen yet. Now, don't get me wrong. The HTC Ultra was just as beautiful. But it was a little bit too big. Giggity. This looks amazing. So here's your camera in the back. There's your flash. Let's see. Here's your power button. Let's power this up. Okay, I just have felt a little vibration. Here's your volume up and down. Nice clicks on that. On the bottom, no headphone jack. There's your speaker, microphone, USB Type-C. Front-facing camera. More mics. Yeah, this is a fingerprint magnet, but this might be in the top three most beautiful phones that I got. This, of course, Galaxy S8 and LG G6. Look at these. Now, y'all know I got a weak spot for glass back phones. <sighs> beautiful but if you notice one of these phones is missing one important thing now all three of these got glass backs how come this one doesn't have wireless charge you see now HCC that's something I don't like already if you're gonna do the glass back do it big do it all the way give us all the features but we'll talk about that in the real review so right now let me uh, activate this phone under my account let me put some of my information in and um, we'll breeze through the OS and we'll check out this squeeze shit and see if that's a gimmick or see if we're actually going to use that. All right, so talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we're back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And let me give you my first impressions. Now, on a side note, let me explain something real quick because I keep getting the same comments over and over and over. There's a reason that I do a first impression video and then I do a full review a week later. A first impression video is not a review. This is just my first impressions after using the phone for a few minutes. So nine times out of 10, when you get something brand new, 
you're gonna like it at first. Now, after a full week, after you use it in the real world, your opinion might change. And let me give you a perfect example. Say you've never been to New York City, and I tell you to come and visit me, and you land in New York, and you say, uh, which hotel should I stay at? And I tell you to go stay at the JFK Hilton. Now, once you get there and you check in, if I call you on the phone an hour later and say, hey, what's your first impressions about that hotel? You're going to say, I like it. You can't review it because you've only been there for an hour. So you're going to say, I like it. I got a nice big bed. I got a great view. The receptionist was real nice. I like this hotel. Now, after you wait there for about a week, now you might have a different opinion. Now you notice that they're doing construction on your floor, so they keep drilling and banging and waking you up every morning. You rented a car, there's no parking. The nighttime staff, they're mean, everybody got an attitude. So your opinion might change after a week. And that's the same thing with these phone reviews. So just because I say I like something now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna like it after a full week. Now with that being said, let me give you my first impressions on this phone. And on a scale of one to 10, I am 100% feeling this phone this is a major go for me now y'all know i got a soft spot for htc after the htc evo that was a game changer this is an official htc phone now let me talk about some of the things that i like first now of course there is some things that i don't like fresh out of the box and we'll get into that too number one the build quality let's wipe this down one more time the build on this phone is nothing short of beautiful and amazing and I gotta say it, it feels so good in the hands. Ladies, I'm available. Now let's talk about the fingerprint sensor. Super fast, super responsive. Now, fingerprint technology done came a long way, so I keep saying this over and over, I'm sounding like a broken record, but this gotta be in the top five fingerprint sensors. Now basically, every new phone coming out, the fingerprint sensors are go. So at some point, we're gonna have to stop talking about this, but this one, is amazing no problems works 100 percent of the time now here's another thing when i do these phone reviews i like to go into it with an open mind so i don't watch any other reviews first because if you do that what's going to happen is you might get biased if i watch 10 phone reviews and everybody says they don't like the camera that's going to be stuck in the back of my mind so even if i do like the camera i'm going to feel like i don't like it because everybody else don't like it so i don't watch any reviews but with this phone, I did read a few articles. And all of the articles that I read, everybody was saying that the HTC, the squeeze, you know, the HTC, I forgot what you call it, the HTC squeeze motion, everybody was saying that that's a gimmick and that's pretty whack. But I gotta disagree. That is one of the best features on this phone and I am loving it. And let me show you why now. Check this out. You talk about world star hip hop buttons to, uh, to open up your camera. All I gotta do is squeeze the phone and it opens up my camera. Now that's world star hip hop button to the next level. Now check this out. You got different levels of squeezes. Now say if I squeeze it and hold it, it's gonna activate my flashlight. Now you can set that to different functions. You can squeeze and hold it and activate your, uh, your Google Voice Assistant. We'll go into some of, the more, uh, some of the other features. But for me, I work at nighttime and I'm always in my car in the middle of the night. So a flashlight is mandatory for me. And now just being able to take my phone out of my pocket and literally squeeze it and turn the flashlight on, that is so dope. Now, a lot of people were saying that that's a gimmick. But for me, that's not a gimmick. And especially with the camera, now, once you get the hang of it, now I'm sitting from behind the camera. I'm going to try to do this in a real world angle. If I pull the phone out of my pocket and I'm just chilling and somebody about to get slapped and I need to get that video, all I got to do is squeeze my phone and it takes me right to the camera. That is a major go for me. Now, let's talk about the screen. Yeah, y'all yeah, know I like the AMOLED panels way better than LCD, but this one looks beautiful. Let's see what I got the brightness on. All right, we'll put the brightness on max. Max brightness. Now I'm gonna have to take this outside and see how it does with the uh, viewing angles in direct sunlight. But so far sitting in the house, the screen looks beautiful. Now here's something that I don't like. Look at the bezels on this. Big giant chin and a big giant forehead. Now what they should have did was, you got your capacitive touch buttons on the bottom. They could have brought the screen down right above the fingerprint sensor and used on-screen buttons. So it seems like a lot of wasted space on the bottom, but it is what it is. The capacitive buttons, they do work nice. 
But when you get used to using the Samsung phones with the edge-to-edge -edge displays, you get something like this, now it kind of feels like a throwback. So it kind of feels like you're getting an older phone, even though you got the same guts, all of the same internal specs. But when you got that edge-to-edge -edge panel, look how beautiful that looks compared to this big giant chin on the bottom. All right, so I'm not really feeling that too much. But so far, right out of the box, no lag detected. Let me see how many apps am I downloading, if any. Okay, got all my apps in here, 175 apps. No lag detected. Now you got Blink Feed. Mm, I'll probably leave this on. Now that's one thing I do like about HTC. I like the Blink Feed better than a lot of these other uh, voice assistants and big speeds and all of these other little gimmicky... I forgot what you call some of these other shits, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Blink feed is actually a little bit better because it doesn't lag and it's nice and smooth. But you can deactivate that if you want. Let's take it over to settings. Now, oh, one more thing I gotta mention. The headphones. The headphones. <laughs> Mad dramatic effect, right? I'll say it one more time. The headphones that come with this phone are incredible now these are noise canceling headphones so i haven't tested them outside in the streets and see how they work with the noise canceling but just as far as playing music from your phone these headphones are the best free headphones now i'm calling them free because they came with it but you know it's included with the price but the best headphones that i got that came with a phone are these right here these headphones Y'all remember the LG V20? And they was giving out those uh, B&O headphones. And I was like, ah, they was all right. They was mediocre. These are blowing those out the water. All right, so shout out to HCC. These are the best headphones around. Now, speaking of sound, the speakers on this phone. Now, I might be sounding like a hype beast right now, but it's been so long since I had a great HCC phone in my rotation, so I'm a little bit excited. But the speakers on this phone amazing let me pull up some music real quick before we take it to the settings now i also do a little comparison with the htc 11 just so you can see that the uh, uh htc 10 so you can see that the speakers are actually louder let me pull up my song all right check this out now i'm gonna play the song on the htc 10 let's get uh max volume now these speakers are incredible you see you got I'm covering the bottom speaker. So you got two speakers, one on the top and one on the bottom. Now check this out. Same song with the HTC 11. Same deal. I cover the bottom speaker. You still hear music coming out the top. So you got two speakers. But listen to how loud this is. The boom sound is incredible. Now you can also change that. Let's see, where was that at? Uh, bah, 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 bah. HTC mode, right? So now I got it in theater mode. That changes the sound a little bit. Music mode sounds way better. Let's look at the display while we're here. Beautiful display. But the speakers. Now, we talked about this before. I always say, if you're going to have a speaker at the bottom, why not just put one in the top? It makes a world of a difference. Ask anybody that has an iPhone 7, ask anybody that has an HTC 10. That one speaker in the top, coupled with the speaker on the bottom, makes a huge difference. And this is done right. Now, if you want media on your phone, all right, so if you're buying this as a media device, this is a go. The speakers are super loud and they sound great. These might be the best sounding speakers that I heard in a minute. Now, of course, you know, the old dual, dual speakers was a lot better. But that one speaker on the top, one speaker on the bottom, this is right there with the iPhone 7 and right there with the HTC 10, but even louder. All right, so the speakers on this, major, major go. Let's check out our Edge Sense. Now, matter of fact, I'll save some of this stuff for the full review. I don't want this video to take too long. Y'all know when I say quick unboxing, that means under 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to keep it under 30 minutes. But you can enter advanced mode. So I got it on advanced mode. So that's going to give you different levels of squeezes. If you don't have advanced mode, you just squeeze it once and you get your one functionality. If you put advanced mode, that's how you, you, you was able to see me squeeze it, activate the uh, camera, then squeeze it again and hold it, activate the flashlight. And there's more stuff I could do too. I can activate the voice assistant. Let me see if I remember how to do that. All right, so squeeze and hold is for the flashlight. 
Let's do a quick a quick squeeze. That's for the camera. There's one more. Let's see. Squeeze twice. I got to play with it. I got to play with it because this is fresh out of the box. But I'm telling you, that edge sense, yo, world star hip hop, squeeze and get your camera. So dope. Now, here's another thing that I don't like so far. Speaking of camera, when you go to the camera mode, hold up, ice cream truck. <sighs> I'm going to miss the ice cream truck. See, y'all made me miss it. One thing I don't like is there's no dual cameras on the back, so you don't get portrait mode. So you got photo, panorama, pro, you got your hyperlapse, video, selfie photos, and that's pretty much it. Now, this is supposed to be one of the best cameras out. We'll put it to the test, but um, no dual camera, so no portrait mode. That's a negative for me. So let's look at my list so far. Big bezels, not really feeling that. I'm right, not feeling these capacitive buttons instead of on screen, not really feeling that either. No wireless charge, not feeling that. No dual camera, no portrait mode, not feeling that either. No headphone jack, not feeling that either. So, so far, just add that to the list and we'll do a full list when I do the full review. Now, fresh out of the box though, on a scale of one to 10, this is a major, major, major go for me. This is a HTC phone that I've been waiting for. So now I finally got HTC back in my rotation. Now, when I do the full review, if there's anything y'all want me to cover specifically, hit me up in the comments. This is a super fingerprint magnet too, so we're gonna have to drop this case on. Now, another thing I don't like, I keep thinking this is dirt, but there's a little hole in the back of this. I don't really like that. All right, it would have been better if this was all nice and smooth because I just noticed that when I looked at the case. I kept on wiping it down. I'm thinking that something's on the back, but it's just a little hole in the back. All right, so we got a case, so that's gonna help with the fingerprints, but you're gonna lose that build quality. Okay, now guess what? Guess who's here? White shoes in the building. What up, white shoes? I, yo, everybody say what's up to white shoes. Anyway, let me go get some ice cream because I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to act like I don't care, but that ice cream is calling me. It's 90 degrees. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all want me to cover and let me know what y'all think about the HCC U11 fresh out of the box. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Foxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.